Hello! In this video, we're going to be talking about comparison questions on the SAT writing section. Comparison questions ask you to make sure that you set up a proper comparison between two things. The people or things being compared must be constructed and phrased in the same way. For example, if I said, the color of my shirt is darker than your shirt, I compared the color of my shirt to your shirt and thus compared two different things. So it's subtle, but the idea is you have to compare identical attributes of things and not an attribute to an actual thing. Another example would be, the engine in my car is bigger than your car. I need to say the engine in my car is bigger than the engine in your car to make that correct. Now, there's some words you really want to look for that will tell you that you've got a comparison question on your hands. Those words are than or as. Most comparisons have these words in them. Some other words are like, differs from, or compared or comparison, but than and as are generally going to be in most comparisons that you see. So for example, let's take a look at this. Most musicians agree that composing a pop song is easier than a rock opera. Now this sounds pretty correct, but the problem is we're comparing composing a pop song directly to a rock opera. And we can't do that. We need to compare composing a pop song to composing a rock opera. So to make this correct, we would rewrite it as most musicians agree that composing a pop song is easier than composing a rock opera. So let's look at two examples. In recent years, more tourists from Spain visited museums in Italy than France. So now we've made a comparison between in Italy directly to France. So to make this a true comparison, we need to choose B here, visited museums in Italy than in France. So you'll notice this is very similar to parallelism in the fact that we're trying to make the prepositions consistent. So there is a little bit of overlap here, but that's fine. Generally, things that are more consistent are more right on the SAT. Here's another example. In the 1960s, more students went to college than the 1970s. So now we're comparing more students than the actual year, the 1970s. So we're going to say the right answer here is going to be more students went to college than in the 1970s. And again there, we've, we've, made the, we've made the comparison true by having the in be consistent. So remember, with comparison questions, look for the word than or as, and make sure that you're comparing identical things. Oftentimes, that will be either comparing attributes or in the two examples we showed you, making sure that your prepositions are consistent. Hope to see you soon. Thanks.